The biggest mistake I made when I started calisthenics is I approached it with an all or nothing mentality, which means that every workout I did, I trained as hard as I could, got a lot of injuries that way. I now know that some is better than none. And so it's Good Friday today. Happy Easter, everybody. And I'm still doing a workout, but I'm just going to do a deloaded workout. I'll be doing flexibility, mobility, hanging and handstands. I'm not going to do my flow work. This isn't a tutorial, this is just one of my workouts. So hopefully you guys can learn from seeing what I do six days a week. I post two of these workouts a day. Later on today, I'll also post my strength workout. Let's get into it. So I'll just do my squat hip opener first. This is like a a daily thing for me. It's really good to warm up those hips and get you ready for the work to come. And when I do this, I like to also contract my glutes here, go a bit further into the end range. This next one, this is <clears throat> a lot harder for folks if you're not used to doing this stuff, but it works wonders for me because I've got spondylolisthesis in L4 and L5 and that causes a really nasty anterior pelvic tilt which makes my quadriceps and hip flexors and lumbar extensors really tight so you know getting into that position is really challenging for me when I'm uh, when I'm not warm I always wake up with really a lot of tightness down here and in my lower back. It's 6 a.m. here, so my family's still asleep upstairs. I have to try to be quiet as best I can. That's actually a big part of staying consistent with working out for me on holidays like a public holiday like Easter I have to get my workout done um, or at least my first workout done when everybody's still asleep because I just it's just too much pressure on the family if I on family life if I try and you know take workout time when everybody's awake on a holiday so I think that's a big um, you know a big part of ongoing success is that you find that way with your training that you still get your workouts done even on days where you know people would think no you, you don't work out today you just spend the time with your family because of course I still want to go and spend the time with my family um, so yeah I just get up early and get it done while it's still dark and while everybody's still in bed, oh, my grips, are you feeling it today? One of those days. Favorite stretch the old diagonal. This is a very good example for me of working through your weaknesses because this is for the hip flexors and they are really 
really tight for me. So I'm, you know, just working through something that I'm really don't have a lot of ability in when I do this. It is brutal. <laughs> All right, I've done my um, deload mobility and hanging, and now I'll do a few sets of handstands. All right, round two. Three. Sun's coming up and the kookaburras are coming out. I can hear them in the trees. All right, team, well, I'm gonna do two more sets of handstands. I'm gonna hear those quicker bays now. And then I'll go upstairs and see my family. I'll see you later for my strength workout.